Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutech. I am using the android 11 a 0 version in my oneplus 9 rt but suddenly on yesterday we got the leak unofficial alpha version of oxygen os 12.1 android 12 c 0 2 for the oneplus 9 rt for the indian and the china regions to flash this you need to download the update zip of 4.6 gb file given under the video description and place it in the root of your storage then you need to install the local installation apk to manually update your device so i decided to give try for this build and check is it worth to use as a daily driver remember this is the alpha build so you may get more issues as compared to the stable build which was a to release you must be on the log bootloader otherwise you will break your device once flash this you can't go back to the stock oxygen os 11 as there is no fast boot mode working and the no rollback package available. Considering all these facts, if you still want to proceed, now without further ado, let's get started. First, we will see how to flash this update. Open the newly installed system update services application. Tap on the right top gear icon. You will see your downloaded package here. Tap install and it will start the flashing which takes at least 10 minutes. Once flashing gets completed, tap reboot. So this process will not wipe your data. So we will boot state in the home screen. In the status bar, we we'll get the notification of finishing system update. And we also get the notification to first time charge the phone at least for two to three hours in the screen of mode. So system will get fully optimized. All the things are done. Let's jump to the bot phone. Here we get the complete new user interface overall in the system. We can see our system is up to date. And if you tap on it to check the system update, it will show you or on the latest Oxygen OS 12.1 and 12.0 C02 build for the OnePlus 9 RT. No beta or alpha tab you can find here. If you tap on the Android version, who gets the Android version 12 and its new material you strike. And surprisingly, security patch is updated to latest 5th June 2022. If you tap on the version, you can see this is the C02 build for the 9 RT. As this is the alpha build, I decided to check all the basic functionalities are working well or not. So Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspot with the 5 words networks are detecting and connecting seamlessly. Dual sims with the dual OLT networks are stable. Incoming, outgoing calls along with the call recording working perfectly. Allo slider is working without issues. OnePlus dash charging is working, but it will not show you any notification of fast charging on the lock or the AOD screen. GPS and NFC both are working perfectly. Face unlock is available and it's blazing fast as compared to the fingerprint lock. Under display fingerprint sensor is working good. It's detecting the fingerprint and working in a fast. Bluetooth is working. I connected my Oppo Echo M31. They detected seamlessly with the amazing user interface for the guideline and firmware update for the connected devices. Audio in the Bluetooth devices is amazing with the Dolby Atmos equalizer. Sound in the speaker is also loud and the, both the main and the earpiece speakers are working as the stereo speaker without the issues. I tested all the sensor using an Android application called as Device Info. I done the series of tests. First one is the vibration test which got successfully passed. Accelerometer test passed. Light sensor test passed. Ear proximity sensor test passed. Microphone test passed. Ear speaker test passed. Loudspeaker test passed. Flashlight test pass, multitouch test pass, display test pass. Other tests like the proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all the tests got successfully passed. Camera is working without the issues, all the features are working in the camera. Now we will see the features that we get in the new Oxygen OS 12. We can see the complete new overall of user interface as compared to the old Oxygen OS 11. New home screen settings are available when you long press on the home screen. We we'll get the new tabs like the wallpaper, icons, widgets and the new transition animation at the bottom. If we slide from the top right corner, we we'll get the new shelf. It has the different items in the cards format which can be customizable when you long press on them. There is a gear icon at the top right corner. By using that, we can disable the shelf or add the more widget in that. Now the OnePlus code search bar is inbuilt in the new shelf. By using that, we can search any items like the applications, 
phone numbers or the web search by typing the keywords in the scout. ROM comes with the new theme store which has the bunch of the collection but at the first app takes some time to open but later it will work seamlessly. Here I applied one theme which looks cool but such themes gives the iOS like look to the Android which is annoying for the people like me who prefer the pure Android look. If you want to revert back just tap the me tab at the bottom and select your default theme. Next is the new dark mode which is available under the display setting of the device. Now the dark mode has the three different modes like the enhanced, medium and the gentle which has a different level of darkness. New toggles like the adaptive contrast adjust wallpaper to the dark mode and adjust icon to the dark mode enhances the look of the new dark theme. In the personalization setting we get the new canvas AOD which details the image accurately and gives us the more precise AOD image which can be customizable further. Who gets the preview of AOD before applying, actually the new AOD looks cool but I don't prefer to use the AOD because it may cause some battery drain issue. Let's take a look of new battery engine in the new Android 12 which has the advanced setting like the high performance mode. Use this mode only while playing the games. Second is the optimized battery use toggle to enable the battery optimization for all the applications installed on your phone. Sleep standby optimization toggle helps to reduce the battery drain when phone is in idle mode. Optimized night charging helps to avoid the overcharging and the aging of the battery. System will give you the suggestions to prolong your battery as you can see on the screen. Follow them as much as possible to get more out of your battery of your device. Now we will see the new gaming mode available in the new update. Here I will show you only the major features like they added the new hyperboost end to end frame rate stabilizations for the games. There are three different game modes available like the low power mode to save the battery, balance mode and the performance mode. In touch optimization we get the slider to increase the touch and the swipe sensitivity to the highest level. I will show you the full performance and the battery game test in the another video but as for some users frame rate while playing the games are more stable and they get maintained up to the 50 to 60 fps continuously. Except this we get the android 12 features like the one handed mode by swiping the bottom navigation bar pill. Power button long press to access the Google Assistant is available, but you can also access the power menu by long pressing the volume up plus power button simultaneously. Who gets the RAM boost feature to utilize the full potential of your RAM and there is another RAM expansion feature, it's nothing but the virtual RAM which can be expanded up to the 2GB, 3GB and 5GB. After changing the setting, we need to reboot the phone. New Android 12 material you theming is not fully embedded in the system like the Pixel devices. But who gets the monet colors in the clock widget, icons, keyboards, system pop-ups and some supported applications like the play store. So these are all the features we've seen. Now what are the major issues or the bugs in the new update? Phone doesn't boot to the fast boot mode so you can't downgrade, unlock or root your device. Phone boots to the stock recovery but it doesn't have the install from the storage setting. Instead of this you will feel the lag sometime while scrolling or typing. But it's not the serious issue, it gets resolved automatically. Battery life is not yet tested but I will create a separate video for the battery, performance and the gaming of the new alpha update. As per my opinion, this one can be used as the daily driver. Soon we will get the Oxygenos 12 build as the official release with the rollback package. Till then you can enjoy this unofficial update if you are android enthusiastic who want to install and use the latest update even though they are on the alpha stage. So that's it guys for today, if you think I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content, thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.